Hey guys, here it is, the deck that I was telling you about. So, um, if you watched my last video, I was saying that a week, week and a half out, I'm going to get my hands on this really killer deck. This is it. Bones Brigade, Series 6, Lance Mountain, and actually with the card, which is awesome. So I'll show you that card in a second here. Um, but such a rad deck, such a rad find. Uh, again, I found it on that Kijiji site, which you, you truly do. You get lucky every once in a while, and sometimes I don't get it because you see these boards and it just gets messy really fast. Um, and I, I don't know if I just got to it quickly enough or what the deal was, um, but a wicked price on it. And um, the one thing was, dude was in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And so he wasn't willing to ship. So I was trying to figure out how I could, you know, potentially work out an arrangement or entice him to ship it. Um, but it just so happened that my mom was there visiting our family in Winnipeg uh, in Portage the Prairie area. And uh, they were able to sneak over and grab the board for me. So she was there visiting for two weeks during when this board went up. So it worked out perfectly. My mom threw it on the plane with her and came back. Uh, the shipping ended up being a little bit more expensive that way. It would have been probably cheaper if she just shipped it from um, Winnipeg instead of bringing it on the plane. They didn't let her take it in the top portion, so they had to put it underneath. Anyhow, is what it is. Um, but yeah, so where was I with this? Wicked board. And so this one here, I don't know, pink, red. Uh, I think the description says it's actually purple because of the heat transfer. Again, these heat transfers are screened, right? Um, they're put onto a heat transfer and then they're heat pressed on. And so screened to heat transfer and then heat pressed on. Um, but the, the description for this says purple. So I don't know. I don't know if it's purple, red, green, pink. Probably not green. But then you can take a look at this top graphic. So good. That silver on there pops. I'm going to say, I'm going to call it pink because I want a pink deck and I don't have a pink deck yet. Really, I don't. Yeah. And so I'm going to call this bad boy pink. And um, sick deck, as you guys can see, I have the Series 5 here as well, right? The orange one, which is killer as well. I love that. It's like, it, it truly feels like it's on fire. It's just a lot of flame colors in there, which is killer. Um, go back and watch that video, guys. I've done a whole rundown on that one. So that's Series 5. That one is a blem deck. Um, but go get the information on it so I don't burn time again today on that one. Um, and we can just stick to the Series 6 here. So, yeah, beautiful deck. Uh, this one is saying that it came out in 2015, Series 6. Um, not 100% sure if it was 2015 or 2016. Sometimes things end up getting stalled, but um, I know that they were pumping out the initial Series pretty quick on them. By the time they got to Series 12, Man, we waited forever on that. There were so many delays, and as you guys know, we're not, there's no rumor right now of a Series 13. So, anywho, um, these ones, though, I think they were pumping up pretty quick. So, to begin with, let's just take a look at the old school hole pattern here. I'll show you guys. There we go. So, that's the old school hole pattern, right? Not a big deal. If you guys are Gonna mount it, you're not gonna put it on your wall, but you're actually gonna skate it and you wanna get one of these things. Um, just remember that you need some old school um, uh, trucks or some trucks that have some old school hole patterns to them. So you can either get your hands on some old school trucks and or if you buy Indy 169s right now, some of them will have the six hole base plates, some maybe even 159s, um, but you can also still buy the six hole base plates for Indy separately and then just put whatever hangers you want on them from Indy. Um, so that's another solution that works really well without having to drill. All right, so let's uh, let's get into some specs on this bad boy. And then I'll finish off by showing you guys the card. Sorry, just one second here. And so the concave on this is the SP3. It's nice and flat. So SP3. Um, there are no wheel wells on it, so it's a little bit more than uh, some of the other concaves that we see, right? So it's the SP3. Um, it's the, the shape is the 156. The width is 10 inches. The length is 30.75 inches. The nose, and we're going from the top of the trucks to the tip of the nose here, is uh, 3.875 inches. 
The wheelbase, so in between the trucks, is 15.375 inches. And then finally, the tail is uh, 6.5 inches. And this is seven ply maple um, constructed in the US of A. There you go. Pretty sick. Let's give you guys a good look here. All right. Again, there are a few little storage marks on it from him having it around for a few years now. I guess it's almost six years. Um, but yeah, almost seven years. Looks pretty sweet. All right, so let's take a quick look at this card here. And so this card that came with it, <clears throat> lots of information on Lance. I'll maybe post a picture and you guys can read through it if you want at your leisure. Um, but I would encourage you to do it. There's just lots of good information on Lance Mount if you don't know about him. Um, and then this was the top of it. So this one, he did have it pinned to the wall and it's kind of bent and ripped up a bit. It's not amazing, but I am stoked to get it. Um, I love getting like, from a collector standpoint, I want everything that came with the deck. Uh, you can't always get that, um, obviously, but I'm stoked to get the card with it as well. It's pretty sweet. And so unfortunately with these cards, so in the earlier runs, they didn't include um, the number of the deck you got or how many were in their run. So if I was to pull out my Series 12 card, you would see that it would be, you know, uh, I think I had for one, uh, I've had a bunch of Hawks, but I think one of them was 0013 of 3,500, for example. Um, now in the older, uh, earlier runs as well, the earlier series, they didn't do as many numbers. Um, so I don't know. I mean, there might be only a thousand of these. There might be 1500. I don't know. If you know, please put it in the comments. I would love to get some information on how many were actually in this run. And it is unfortunate that they don't put it on the card. Um, the only other thing that would make, make it better is if they put it on the card and then they also stamped it into the, the deck somewhere in the serial number so that you could see that you got like, you know, again, 0013 of 3,500. Um, that would be amazing. Even from the standpoint, you guys know, I've, I think I've told you guys before, um, but somebody swiped a McGill from me in a trade. I sent them my McGill <clears throat> and they never sent anything to me. So I lost it. It was a series 12 McGill. And so it would have been great because I knew what number it was. And so I also, I was also confident in the guy that took it. I knew the guy that took it and he put it up on Kijiji actually, but he didn't have the card with it. So I couldn't pair the card in the deck. So anywho, I hope that if in the future, Powell looks at, um, you know, if we get a series 13, I don't know if we're gonna get one or not, but if we do, uh, that they would not only put it on the card, but they would also include its stamp somewhere on the deck. So, anyhow, there you go, guys. Um, I was so stoked to get my hands on this. I love the graphic, the white skater in the middle here looks so killer, just pops so much. Hope you guys like that. And uh, I'm hoping to, I'm still waiting on that Guerrero. I have no clue what's going on. So, <laughs> um, that Nikki Guerrero. And so hopefully we'll get that soon and we'll do it. But I, I'm pretty sure I have some other boards here anyways that you guys, uh, that I haven't done videos for yet. So I'll, uh, I'll maybe do some of those in the meanwhile. All right, guys, have an amazing week. And uh, yeah, peace out. Cheers.